Hello there, this is a statistics video. This time we're finding the median from a cumulative frequency histogram. Here's a cumulative frequency histogram. We have the scores down here, various scores from 2 up to 7. And we have the cumulative frequency happening on these columns here. And that's kind of uh, totaling the number of frequencies as you go along the frequency column. And that uh, we've created that cumulative frequency histogram. Uh, there's a previous video that shows you how to construct this. Uh, but we're just going to take this cumulative frequency histogram and see how we can find out what the median of this uh, set of scores must have been just from the graph. Okay, we firstly note the highest column that we have and we note that that highest column is level with 25 so we know there must have been 25 scores altogether if that's our final item of our total we know that uh, that must match the number of scores there are altogether so if we added the the frequency column up on this uh, yeah, this set of scores we'd have 25 scores there now we divide by 2 and get 12.5 and round that up to uh, figure out, our, that's a calculation that will uh, allow us to identify which score must be the median. The median is the 13th score. There's a previous videos on how you calculate the median uh, as well, so you could check that out if you've, uh, you're not aware of this situation. But this is the system for finding the median of a uh, an odd number of scores. 25 is an odd number of scores. We divide by 2, we get an answer. We round it up and that indicates uh, which score we're looking for. If we wrote all these scores out in order, it would be the 13th score that's right in the middle. And that helps us. Now we draw a cumulative frequency polygon. Now a cumulative frequency polygon is, uh, is one that joins the top right hand corners of each of the columns on a cumulative frequency histogram. So you can see it's just joining, that green line is joining the top right hand corners and that's the polygon section of our cumulative frequency diagram here. So once that's done, what we'll do then is uh, we know we're looking for the 13th score. So we'll go to 13 on our vertical axis over here and we'll move right from that. So that dotted black line has moved right from the 13 mark and uh, we're particularly interested in the spot where that line, that horizontal line, hits the polygon part of it. Polygon part of the diagram where it hits the green bit. Once you hit the polygon line, uh, you move down to find which score that occurs at. So that whole column here uh, is where the fives occur on the diagram. Uh, it, so this is in the fives section. So that's where the scores are all fives. Um, so you can see that the median occurs just in the start of where the fives occur in our arrangement if they were all placed in order. And uh, so that score there, the five, is, uh, is the 13th score of our uh, set of data. So that score is the median. That's the one we're looking for. So how do we find the 13th score? We figured out that the 13th score must be the median. And so we, what we did, we got uh, the spot where 13 is on the vertical axis. We went across to hit the polygon. Now it's important that we hit the polygon and not just the column. If we hit the column there, we wouldn't be sure whether it's a 4 or a 5 we're looking for. But if we go across to the polygon, then go down, that section should identify the score that is the, uh, the one we're looking for, for our median. The score is, uh, is there as 5. That's our median. So quite a process, but uh, once we've drawn a cumulative frequency histogram, we draw the green polygon section, then we go across uh, from the halfway point on our vertical axis, and then once we hit the polygon, we can figure out what score we're looking for there for our median. And there we have it. That's finding uh, the median from a cumulative frequency histogram. Thanks for listening. See you next time.